Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about display color management in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Okay, so this new feature only changes the display. It doesn't change your clips. It's not going to manage the color in your clips and change them. It's just about looking at the display to make sure that you're uh, using the correct or you're, you're viewing the correct setting so that if you're changing the contrast, your monitor is as close as possible to the right setting. Now that setting is completely up to you. Premiere Pro is going to read the profile that your monitor is using in your operating system. And both Mac and Windows, by default, they will choose an ICC profile for your monitor. Even if you don't do anything, it's already chosen for you. You can use devices like this that hang off the, the display and they'll read the color on your monitor and they go through a whole color calibration setting. Um, and they'll do a very accurate setting and save that as a profile. Um, and then Premiere Pro will read that profile. I think the, the people that will really benefit from this is someone with a, a very high dynamic range display. And Apple's finally uh, shipping displays. Some of the iMacs have that. Uh, Windows, especially if you come from an HP world and they have dream color displays have been out 10 bit displays have been out on the Windows side forever, and they can display a wider gamut than typical HD Rec. 709, which is your typical HD display going out. So you can force those high dynamic range displays into a, a, a closer display. Let me just show you um, on Windows. If you look at the color management um, settings, uh, there's your display, but in the advanced setting, you can choose a profile. And if you use those color calibration devices, the display profile will show up down in the bottom. On the Mac, you click on the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, Display, and Color. This is where you'll find the selected display color profile. And of course, you can pick any one, you can calibrate your display and use that. It's important to note that Premiere Pro will not color manage transmit monitors hooked up externally through third-party cards like AJA, Blackmagic, and others. Those have to be color managed outside of Premiere Pro, and there are a bunch of tools that come with those cards. Premiere Pro will color manage a secondary computer monitor hooked up through the, the operating system, just like through the regular desktop, and it will manage those previews out. So whether you're going out to HDMI, DisplayPort, uh, DVI, or Thunderbolt, they will be managed. I have a whole tutorial on using this, and this is basically the transmit, Mercury Transmit is using a, a secondary monitor as a full screen preview monitor. That also will be color managed. Uh, the color management also applies not just to the program monitor, but the source monitor, the thumbnails in the project bin, and the preview in the export dialog box in Premiere Pro and Media Encoder. By default, Premiere Pro does not turn this on, and it does require GPU acceleration. But I wanted to show you, I've, I've got a clip of, of skin tone and of sky, and I wanted to show you when this is on and when this is off and how it displays. Now, remember, I'm, I'm recording my screen through Camtasia, so there's another level of disconnect through all of this. What I'm seeing in this room um, is, could be slightly different, but you will see a difference. Okay, so I've got this clip here, and I've got this waterfall clip, and another clip with a blue sky. So let's, this is turned off in the Edit menu on Windows, in the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, your general preferences, Down here, enable display color management, and you can see it requires GPU acceleration. So turn that on, and you'll see the results once I click OK. So watch this clip, and you'll see it got darker. So the overall contrast level was darker. That's telling me that now when I'm pushing the contrast levels, I don't have to go as far because the real output to Rec. 709 on the way out is actually a little bit darker than what my display is showing. So let's go back over here to uh, this waterfall, which is very high contrast. You've got white whites and dark rocks. It's already turned on, remember. 
So let me turn this off and click OK, and you'll see that brightened up a little bit. And that could be the difference between pushing the color grading a little bit too far um, and, and getting things a little darker than, than what they're intended to, to be. And the last one here is this blue sky, a lot of green foliage. I'll turn that on. Boom, you can see a lot more contrast in there. By the way, all the clips in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. All right, so there you go. It's, it's pretty simple. You turn it on, turn it off. You have to have GPU acceleration for it to be on. Uh, I think most YouTubers won't really care about this, but professionals definitely will. Uh, this is something that has been asked for on a professional level for many, many years, especially people that have their, their system calibrated with devices. Whoop, devices like this, um, it makes uh, an important difference. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that one-time donation or monthly through PayPal. There's a link in the description and on the front of the channel. Thanks to all of our wonderful PayPal supporters. You guys are great. Thank you so much. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you calibrated and looking.